much. We go straight to Brazil now, where despite the disappointing growth of just 1%, unemployment also remains low. But the reason for that is the lack of qualified workers, which may limit Brazil's efforts to grow. Paulo Cabral joins us now live from Sao Paulo. Yes, actually the latest unemployment figures show 7% of unemployment uh, in Brazil. 7% of unemployment in Brazil in January is what was considered by most economists as very close uh, to full employment. Uh, and actually there's even a lack of workforce and, and particularly skilled workforce. But I'm not talking about uh, high skills on the university level. A problem is also the lack of workers with technical skills. It's 5.30 in Sao Paulo. As the city wakes up, thousands of buses start to roll. After 36 years behind the wheel, Elvaldo Salles is retired and could be sleeping at home. But the company asked him to stay in the job because it's not easy to find replacements these days. They have about 150 openings. There are many openings because there are few drivers with the qualification the companies require. You need some specific courses and permits to work in these buses. Brazil's National Transport Confederation estimated in 50,000 the shortage of professional drivers in Brazil. It's a problem that has been hitting many industries. Over 2012, unemployment rates remained low and wages kept going up in Brazil despite the economic slowdown. There is concern as to what will happen if activity picks up this year. We will have a gap, an enormous gap of, uh, peop of people, skilled people to work in those uh, jobs that will be created. If we lack them, uh, we are beginning to import people from outside the country to work with us with technical skills that we don't have. For decades, Brazilians got used to seeing people leave in the country to work in Europe or in the United States. But things are different now. Growing numbers of foreigners are coming to Brazil in search of opportunities, and they may be in unexpected places. Miguel Palhota came from Portugal to manage golf clubs in the country of football. Brazil will host the World Cup in 2014, will host the Olympic Games in 2016. And in my opinion, it will bring a lot of investors, not only from outside the country, but I believe that a lot of Brazilians will also invest on their country. Brazil has great plans for its future, but it needs urgently to prepare its workforce for the task if it doesn't want to miss this opportunity. Well, uh, uh, of course, there needs Brazil to take some foreigners nowadays. We know that the solution, the definite solution in Brazil would be more education. But for the moment, it's the foreigners coming to Brazil that are sort of fulfilling these needs. Actually, if you look at recently uh, uh, released numbers of the Minister of Labor, the number of permit work permits uh, to work in Brazil doubled in 2012 if compared uh, to the previous year. So even if prospects are not as great in Brazil as they were two, three years ago, still people are coming in large numbers to work in this country, and Brazil needs this workforce. All right, Paulo, thank you very much.